Welcome back to Hyperscale Video Workshop. My name is Brett Green. Slowly, we're starting to see a trickle of brand new release kits appearing on the doorstep. And the latest that I've received is the Zukimura F4EJ Phantom 2. Now, don't be fooled by this box, which uh, reads uh, F4E uh, Phantom 2 early. Um, they haven't actually got the the production boxes yet. This is a, a pre-release sample. So uh, the contents inside the box are what we'll be seeing, but uh, the box itself isn't quite ready yet. Now, this will be another one of my unboxing videos where I open the, the lid for the first time and uh, I share my first impressions and uh, uh, also show you what the sprues look like at exactly the same time as I do. So let's uh, take a look at the contents of Zukimura's F4 EJ uh, Japanese Phantom 2. Now, this is actually the very first time that I've had a Zukimura kit. I've never had, in all the years uh, that Zukimura have been around, uh, a sample from Zukimura. So this is uh, something of a, a novelty for me. First of all, we have in a plastic bag the F4 EJ it's EJ uh, instructions. It's a very substantial book. It looks more like a, a full magazine than a, an instruction booklet. And uh, we can see there's uh, there's quite a lot of pages there. Uh, does it have page numbers here? Oh, I see. So it's actually a stapled early, once again, pre-production uh, instruction booklet. So we've got one side of A3. Uh, sheets that are folded in half and there are the various instructions of course this will be in a booklet format by the time you receive yours and I can see through the back that we've also got things like the um, parts tree and so forth some uh, some hints and tips on on construction and I wonder it looks like the uh, colour and marking guide isn't in there. Uh, it may be further down the box or it may be something that is going to appear closer to production. So, I'll just go from the, the top of the box down. First we have a small sprue. I suspect that this might be a new sprue with the specific F4EJ parts on it. Now, an F4EJ was, uh, or is, a Japanese built Phantom based on a hard wing F4E Phantom with uh, some minor additions, I think mainly to the tail and to the antennas. So there's very little difference between an F4E early uh, hard wing version and an F4EJ. So this one is labelled, yes, specifically F4EJ Phantom. And it looks like we have uh, the top of the fin. Uh, maybe a few aerials. We've got side consoles and instrument panels, I think, which are specific to this type. Uh, also an, a new nose cone for this one, which is interesting. Okay, so that's uh, a brand new part. The next uh, sprue is actually labelled F4E. So I suspect that the, most of the rest of the sprues in here will probably be in common with Zukimura's recent uh, F4E kit release. Uh, we have the individual sprues that are packed into single bags and they're sealed. So I'll just uh, grab my my favourite Alpha knife to, to slice them open. So here we have uh, the slatted tail planes Really nice surface uh, textures on there. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, we've got some fins and it looks like some rocket rails, uh, some, um, some weapon mounts, uh, sway braces. Uh, so this is really a, a bits and pieces type of sprue. So this is labelled uh, F4E Phantom 2 Sprue R. Ah. Next we have the main fuselage sprues. So, I will be curious to see how these are labelled. Uh, 
just free this from its uh, sealed plastic bag. And this one is labelled uh, F4E Phantom 2. So once again, it's it's identical to the uh, the F4E Phantom that was just recently released by Zukumura. Surface textures. This has the fuselage halves on it. So we can see it's quite a big sprue. Uh, and it looks like probably some framing, separate framing for the canopy. Uh, some alternative uh, uh, fin tips and also the outside uh, surfaces of the intakes but let's see if we can get a, a close view of uh, the surface texture on the fuselage halves very very nice very nice indeed so very crisp fine it looks like they're pretty consistent we'll just have a look at the tail of the other fuselage half and what we also have molded onto the inside of these fuselage halves are a little bit of uh, structural detail in the upper cockpit sidewalls so that's molded in place make it a little bit easier on construction so uh, no, very impressive I'm, I'm very impressed with the um, the surface textures also you might note that there are different depths and widths to the various uh, panel lines, so uh, that's uh, that's a nice touch too. Very very nice. Now we have, not surprisingly, uh, the wing sprue. That's another big one. I'm getting quicker with this now. So we have what appears to be a generic upper wing and you can also see uh, here there's an insert so it's a it's a hollow insert it's quite clever really so it's a one piece solid insert for a hard wing so once again similar to the F4E early with the uh, with the hard wing and we have also the lower wing as a full span part with a chunk of the uh, mid forward and mid rear fuselage uh, connected there as well. And we also have another set of stabilizers, so horizontal stabilizers. And these ones are, uh, are unslatted. So you, you've got quite a versatile kit here. There's a lot of contents and some options that you could build something other than an F4EJ uh, straight from the box here. The next sprue. Oh, okay. So, as I mentioned before, I've never actually had a Zukimura Phantom, uh, or in fact, a Zukimura kit. But it would appear that uh, Zukimura has provided us with uh, full engine detail. Uh, it looks like they're full length. Um, intake ducting so more engine detail there we've got uh, exhausts burner cans uh, flame holder there and uh, and various other engine bits so it looks like the wheel wells there we go uh, the wheel well sidewalls are molded as separate parts as well which is uh, quite clever so that's good that's very impressive the next sprue which is sprue C. Contains what appear to be mostly cockpit and uh, maybe forward wheel well parts. So it looks like we've got the really nicely detailed uh, cockpit sidewalls there. We have uh, seat parts here as well with the separate uh, pull handles for the ejection seat. Uh, we also have the what is probably doubling as the bottom of the cockpit floor with the the roof of the nose wheel well and some other bits and pieces uh, I think mostly associated with the cockpit and the uh, combing and the the forward fuselage and so forth. So that's a, a useful look sprue. 
Our next stop is Sprue M. Once again, these have all been generic F4E sprues. And we have here uh, flaps. It looks like an alternative cockpit floor, alternative uh, sidewall there. Um, uh, a nose, a separate nose cone, different to the one that uh, we had on the EJ specific one. Uh, gun and uh, and so forth. So uh, that's uh, another one of these bits and pieces sprues. Oh, okay, that's another nice touch. So on this sprue we have ordnance. So we've got a couple of uh, sidewinder missiles, sparrow missiles, separate tails, and um, we get a boarding ladder as well. I like that. That's a nice idea. So the boarding ladder is there. And a second uh, sprue N as well. So you'll have some uh, a boarding, or uh, well, some ordnance, I would imagine, uh, left in the spares box after you've uh, gotten those. And we have even more sidewinders and sparrows and, uh, and uh, drop tank as well. So there's, yes, there is a second uh, one of those sprues as well. That's sprue B. So uh, there'll be a, a bonanza for the spares box with, uh, with leftover ordnance by the look of it. Oh, and more. Goodness gracious, we have a lot of spare parts here. And another ordnance sprue, although this one is different to the other two. This is sprue S. And it has, once again... I think they're multiple ejector racks, if I'm not uh, mistaken, and a bunch of other various uh, mounts for ordnance on uh, on your Phantom. The last grey plastic sprue is a small one with what appear to be poseable flaps. I've just finished building Kinetics. Uh, TF-104G Starfighter and they had a similar arrangement where they mould two sets of um, of locating tabs on the uh, the flaps if you want the the flaps to be depicted closed you cut off the outside ones if you want it to be depicted dropped then you cut off the inside ones it's quite a clever idea really it's a, and it's a, a nice solid way to get your flaps uh, installed to your wing. A lot of the time, if you want to uh, pose your flaps dropped, then you're taking your life into your hands with a, a really delicate and fine connection between the, the front of the flap and the rear of the wing. But um, this is a, a nice little engineering feat. And we also, now this is our very last sprue in the box, and it is the clear sprue, which is sprue L, I think. Oh, and once again, nice touch. We have uh, both a fully uh, shut canopy as an option, uh, and Zukimura is also supplying us with separate opening canopy sections as well as uh, separate windscreen. And we have some landing lights, looks like gun sight, um, lens, and navigation lights in there as well as clear parts. So, uh, oh, there you are, that's better. I don't think I had that quite in focus. So that is the last sprue in the box. And in fact, it's the last thing in the box. So as I mentioned before, this is uh, very much a pre-release uh, version of the kit. So it looks like we don't have decals and we don't have uh, color and marking instructions. When I post the video though, I will uh, see if I can find the, the marking guide and the original box or the, the production box top uh, on the Zuki Mirror site and I'll add those to uh, to the video too. In the meantime though, uh, I'm very impressed. It is, as I've mentioned before, my very first Zuki Mirror kit and uh, I'm impressed by what I see in terms of detail, in terms of surface texture and uh, the engineering looked good as well. I believe there were some shape and accuracy issues 
with the first release, which I think might have been an F4J Phantom. But I've also heard that uh, Zucamira have gone back and revised uh, some of those issues. So uh, this is considered by people who know uh, to be quite a, a, an accurate kit as well. You'll be seeing the Zucamira F4EJ on the shop shelves fairly quickly. Um, I'll drop a note in Hyperscale's What's New page to let you know when it's arriving. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, I can thoroughly recommend what I've seen. Well, that's all I have for you today in Hyperscale Video Workshop. Have a great time and bye for now.